Hey everyone, this is Neha from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session on what is Kotlin. I suggest you to subscribe to the Edureka channel to quick start your learning and also hit the bell icon to get the notifications for the latest update on the channel. Let's look at the agenda for the session. First, I will tell you what is Kotlin. After that, I will take you through the history of Kotlin where you will know from where it actually originated. Next, I will talk about the various features of Kotlin that makes Stas a unique programming language. And once you understand this, then we will dive deeper into this session and know what IDEs can be used for writing a Kotlin programming language. Next up, I will show you how to install IntelliJ IDE on your system and execute a simple Kotlin program. And finally, I will wrap up this session by talking about the advantages of using Kotlin programming language. I hope you found agenda interesting guys. Now, without wasting any further time, let's get straight into the module. First, let's understand what is Kotlin. Kotlin is a statically typed programming language that runs on the JVM and works across the different platforms. The fact that the statically typed means the types are resolved during compilation. JVM is a specification that provides a runtime environment for running applications that are developed in Java and other JVM based languages. And the most well known reference implementation of JVM is OpenJDK, which was originally developed by Sun Microsystem and now is supervised by Oracle. And Kotlin is another JVM based language that is simple to write and concise in nature. Kotlin combines object oriented and functional programming features. It is designed to be interoperable with Java and relies on the Java code from the existing Java class libraries. Not only that, Kotlin also provides a more expressive syntax than Java. It is concise and has strong type inference and reduces the code verbosity. It also has a wide variety of useful features such as operator overloading, string templates, extended functions, coroutines, etc. Not only that, and Kotlin is a language which is mainly designed and developed for Android applications as well. Moving further, I'll tell you how it actually works for Android and why it is the most preferable language as well. For now, let's have a look at the history. Kotlin was developed by JetBrains in the year 2010. They initially released it under the name of the project Kotlin in July 2011 and they needed a language that was concise, elegant, expressive and also interoperable with Java as most of their products was developed in Java including the IntelliJ ID. They were looking for an alternative language to reduce the amount of boilerplate code required and to introduce new constructs such as high order functions to make the language more expressive and concise. One of the goals of the Kotlin programming language was to be able to compile the code as quickly as Java. And JetBrains open sourced the project under the Apache 2 license in February 2012. And Kotlin version 1 was released on February 2016. And this was the official stable release from JetBrains. And further, Kotlin version 1.2 was released on November 2017 and this release added a feature to allow the code to be shared between the JVM and JavaScript platforms as well. And Kotlin is one such JVM compatible programming language that compiles down to Java bytecode and has really caught the attention of Android community. Instead of browsing all the way down, according to me, by all odds it's Kotlin. Kotlin was actually created to be better than Java in every possible way. Now that you know what is Kotlin and how it originated, now let's move further and have a look at the various features that Kotlin supports. First, concise. Kotlin is more concise than Java and you would need to write approximately 40% of the fewer lines of codes when compared to Java. Next, interoperability. Kotlin programming language is highly interoperable with Java. You will never face any difficulty using Kotlin in a Java project. Next, open source. Kotlin is an open source programming language and the Kotlin project is open sourced under the Apache 2.0 license. It is on GitHub and is open for community contribution. Next, trustworthy. 
you can trust Kotlin as this is developed by popular and well-known company JetBrains. JetBrains is known for creating several development tools and the popular Java IDE IntelliJ IDEA is developed by the same company. Next, Easy. Kotlin is an easy to learn programming language. If you have come from a Java background, then you would find it very easy to learn Kotlin as well. And the last feature is less error prone. As I have mentioned before, Kotlin is a statically typed programming language which makes you able to catch the errors at compiled type as statically typed programming language does the type checking at compile time only. So these are some of the features that adds to the popularity of Kotlin programming language. Now let's take a look at the various platforms or IDEs on which you can write and develop your Kotlin applications. So you can see here that you can either use Eclipse or IntelliJ or Android Studio to develop applications. But throughout this video, I will be using IntelliJ IDEA because it is the platform which is mainly designed and developed for Kotlin and it is a feasible IDE. So now let's jump into the demo part and I will tell you how to install the IntelliJ IDE and also I will tell you how to configure Kotlin and run the first program. So Google search IntelliJ ID and then hit the first link and you will be navigated through this page and you can see that for the download IntelliJ IDE there are two options. One is the ultimate and the other one is community. So I'm using community option because that is mainly for the JVM and Android development. So if you want to go with you know web and enterprise development, then you can go for ultimate version. I'm using Windows operating system. That is the reason I'm downloading this community version and you can see that this is free and open source as well. So it's getting downloaded now. So I'll click next you can choose a particular folder and I'll choose install. Now you can see that it's getting installed. Also if you wish to know more about the IntelliJ IDE and you know you want to get into a complete hands on on Kotlin then you can check out the video on our YouTube channel on Kotlin tutorial where all the Kotlin fundamentals are being explained in a broader gauge and you will surely get hands on with Kotlin programming language. So I want to run this so I'm clicking on the run and I'll give finish now your IntelliJ ID is being set up. Let's see how it looks like. So you can see your IntelliJ IDEA community version has launched. So when your Kotlin will be launched, it shows this way. So what I'll do, I can either create a project over here or I'll just go to files and choose new and click on the project. I want a Kotlin project, so that's the reason I'm creating a Kotlin project and naming the project as Kotlin demo. Okay, then I'll hit the finish button. So you can see here that you got a project called Kotlin demo, and this is the Java JDK. Yes, and now what you have to do. Now you can see here there's a source folder. So I want to create a new class file for Kotlin. So how will I do that? I'll just choose right click new and Kotlin file or class. I can either create a class or a file. So I want to create a file. So I'll name it as example. Okay. Simple. So you can see here your example.kt file got created under the project Kotlin demo. Now let's write a simple program and understand how exactly it works. So you remember how you do you write your uh, Java program? 
you will create a class file like called class example and followed by you will write your main method like public static void main and you'll pass the arguments as string arguments, right? So in this case in order to write a main method you should simply use function and main and then you have to pass the arguments as array of string Okay So this is your main method now next I want to print a simple hello world message. How will I do that? In case of Java, what you did, you use system.out.println, but in this case, it's just println. So I'll say hello, Edureka. Right? Very simple. And you don't have to even give the semicolon or anything as such. Now, when I run this program, I'll run it over here. Let's see what happens. So you can see here it returned with a no time and it executed as well. So very simple, right? So if you have to write a Java code, then what you will do first, you will say you have to import your packages and you have to write a class name. Then you have to create a main method and inside that you have to write Hello followed by whatever message you want to display and at the end you have to give a semicolon and everything right so but in case of Kotlin it's very simple just write function main and pass the arguments and just use println what does function main does functions are the building blocks of a Kotlin program all the functions in Kotlin start with the keyword fun followed by the name of the function in this case it is main and a list of zero or more comma separated parameters as the optional return type and a body and the main functions take one argument that is an array of strings very simple So now say that you want to you know add or subtract. How will you do that? I'll modify the same Kotlin program So you just see here that you know I have given val num1 is equal to 100 and this is how you need to initialize the variables that is val value of number one is 100 and value of number two is 20 and the operator type we are using is int and variable is never modified and can be declared immutable using val. Okay, so I am giving the type of the operator as int because I'm using int numbers. If it was double or something, I would have given double as well. There is no problem in that. So I'm using the same variable here and giving num1 plus num2. And finally, I'm printing this result. You remember in case of Java, you used to do, you know, uh, addition is equal to plus instead of this dollar symbol what you used to you used to use plus right but in this case there is nothing like that you can simply use dollar okay so now let's run and check the output so you can see here that the addition of two numbers is 120 and now if i simply give operator minus and i'll give here as subtract yes again when i run this what will be the output See subtraction is 80 if I want to divide num1 by num2 and I'll give here division Again, it will be the same So 100 by 20 will be 5 See so this is how you can perform simple arithmetic operations in your Kotlin programming language Suppose say I have not declared this Okay, and I don't want this I just want to print the sum of 1 and 2. So how will I do that? I'll just give num1 plus num2. When you execute this, the output will be 120. So see? Yes, right? So all that I did here was I just declared the variables and the values for that. And now say if I give this as 100.5 and this will be 20. So when I add these numbers, let's see what happens. See, I am not doing any kind of typecasting here, but still it is able to retrieve me the result in the form of a float, right? So if I make it as, you know, 20.345 and then add these two numbers, let's see what happens. It provided the accurate result of this addition. I'm not even specifying the type of the data type, either it is a float, int, anything it can be, right? 
but still it is able to add the values of these numbers. So just simply give num1 plus num2 and you will get the result over here. Very simple, right? Yes, so that's how it works. So I hope you understood how to perform simple, you know, arithmetic operations and how to use println statement to display some message using Kotlin. And I also hope you understood how to configure your Kotlin project on IntelliJ IDE. So that was all about the first example. So if you wish to know more about Kotlin and how exactly it works and what are the various fundamentals, then you can go and check out Kotlin tutorial in our Edureka YouTube channel. For now, let's move further and have a look at the advantages of Kotlin. First, it's completely interoperable with Java. As already mentioned above, one of the biggest conveniences with using Kotlin is that it's compatible with Java. With all its tools and frameworks, you can just add these to your Kotlin projects. It's very nice and easy and it doesn't need to change the entire project in Java as well. So therefore it goes without saying that if you make up your mind to switch over to Kotlin migrating your project from Java is really a piece of cake. Next, it's more concise than Java. This is undoubtedly one of the biggest advantages of Kotlin over Java Android development. You are able to solve the same problems using fewer lines of code and that can only translate into a more reliable code with fewer bugs and crashes on the UX side. That does not to mention all the other benefits that derive from the code conciseness, but including code is it's easier to maintain, to read, and easier to apply other changes to when needed. Next, it has a very safer code because we have already settled that Kotlin's code is more concise. Therefore, it goes without saying that a concise, compact, and clear code is implicitly a safer code. Being more compact, it allows fewer errors. And I should mention here that this is by the design that Kotlin prevents common programming mistakes translating to a fewer crashes or reduced number of system failures. Next, it also comes with a safer and smarter compiler. Adding a good compiler has been one of the Kotlin's development team's main goal when they created this programming language. It detects the error at compile time and not at runtime. And this leverages the fail fast principle. And it also performs a lot of checks, reducing runtime errors and a number of bugs in the code. So that's what makes Kotlin as one of the popular programming language and is suitable for Android development as well. If you wish to know more about the differences between Kotlin with Java and which one takes the edge over the other, then you can check out the video on Java versus Kotlin in our Edureka YouTube channel and you can understand in a more detailed manner. And these are some of the companies like Pinterest, Coursera, Basecamp. So all these companies are presently making use of Kotlin programming language. So that was all about this session. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment section below and we will reply back to you at the earliest. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!